Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, today is Tuesday, September fifth, I believe. Yep. And so it's the it's Tuesday after Labor Day, and Beachbody just uh, released the first workout of the new program from Sigi, who was a uh, trainer in the Body Beast program. So today is the first day of week of hard labor, and so I thought I'd give you a, a rundown of the workout, kind of give you uh, some background information or in, insight into what that that workout looks like today was chest and back um, that's a pretty commonly paired up muscle group um, just because they're opposing and they're easier to incorporate into the same workout um, this workout was not easy but it was really simple um, basically there's four sets of exercises uh, the first two being just standard supersets uh, where you alternate between a chest exercise and a back exercise and then the second set of exercises were in the form of a giant set. So basically four exercises and then you repeat for three rounds. And uh, very simple workout, um, like I mentioned, uh, basically just some chest presses, some push-ups, some pull-ups, um, some one-arm rows type stuff, some overhead pulls. Um, like I said, really, really simple. But in the way that they're stacked and you you basically go – go, go the entire, it's, it's only a 45 minute workout and that includes the warm up and cool down. So it's really only about 35 or eight minutes worth of actual workout. Um, but you get a lot done in that, in that time frame. So, uh, the, the reps are a little bit, uh, uh, smaller in terms of numbers. So then you would normally be associated with the body beast program. So in this case, it's 10, eight, six, which, to be quite honest with you, when I would go back and do the Body Beast program today, um, those would typically be the the numbers that I would stick with in terms of rep schemes. Maybe even go eight, six, four, but just depends. So, with that being said, you go a little bit heavier with the weights, um, and that's the intent of this particular uh, workout. In this case, in the sense, you want to go heavier with the weights and get as much work as you can in the the amount of time that we're spending here. So, um, again. Just alternating between a chest and a back workout uh, for four different sets. Now, the one thing that uh, you may find is because I'm using dumbbells, I have adjustable jump dumbbells for this particular workout. And because you're alternating between those two different types of exercises, it's, uh, it's really important to know what kind of weight you're going to be doing for the next particular exercise in case you do need to switch out the weights. Uh, that way you're not wasting a lot of time. So think ahead, maybe watch the program once before you actually go through it, or at least get an idea of the different exercises that are involved. That way you can kind of pick your weights ahead of time, at least your starting point. And if you have to drop or go heavier, that's cool. You can do that for the second or third round on each one of the uh, sets. But so plan ahead for those. Um, it does require some equipment. So like I said, uh, dumbbells are pretty much a requirement, or you can use resistance bands. Um, it's a little bit difficult to do chest exercises with resistance bands, but you can do them. Um, and then pull-ups. You'll need a pull-up bar or some sort of resistance band attached to the door or overhead, something like that, because there's three sets of pull-ups in, in the workout as well. Other than that, you can use a bench or stability ball. Um, I prefer the bench uh, just because it's a little bit more stable. Uh, stability ball will work. It'll actually work your core at the same time, so you kind of get a bonus there. But it's difficult to go a little bit heavier when you have a stability ball because it just it requires more work on your core, on your lower half, than it would otherwise with a bench. So keep that in mind, too. If you're using a uh, stability ball, you might want to lower the weights a little bit. But all in all, a pretty good workout. As you can see, I got pretty sweaty in that 35 minutes. Um, you know, it was, it was fast-paced. There was a little bit of downtime that we could, you know, as you're going through the workout, maybe a second or third time, you could just kind of skip ahead. But other than that, you know, it was pretty much on pace, uh, maybe 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds in between some of the sets, but not a lot of rest. So um, have your water, have your towel handy, that way you're ready to go. Um, other than that, it was, that's pretty much it. So tomorrow is another workout that's going to be released. I'll, I'll continue to do some videos for you guys so you can kind of get an idea of what these workouts are going to be like, be like. but you can try the program um, basically for free using the Beachbody On Demand trial. You can try it for two weeks and actually get a chance to try some of these workouts. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, otherwise, uh, stay tuned for more uh, reviews or insight into the week of hard labor that just released um, for Beachbody On Demand. So, all right, that's it, guys. Uh, I'll see you.